Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going to be doing a first impressions of the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation as well as I'm going to try to bring you guys throughout the day to see how it wears and how it does on oily skin. So I'm so, so excited to try this. We are going to be doing one side with a brush and one side with a sponge. So I'm just going to start off with my favorite primer. This is my Foundation Primer Plus SPF 15 from Merle Norman. And this is a silicone based primer, so if you do not like silicone based primers, you wouldn't like this one. And I'm just going to squeeze it right on my face because it's almost gone. There we go. But I really like this one with stick foundations because it has some slip to it, which I appreciate when it comes to a stick foundation. I don't like have on a primer that's kind of sticky because sometimes I feel like it the foundation won't blend um, it kind of stays where you stripe it onto the skin and I don't want that Alright, so we're going to start with the brush side first, and I think I'm going to do this side with a brush. I got something in my hair. Alright, so let me roll it up. I have the shade Alabaster, so I'm hoping that the shade works for me. I'm hoping. <laughs> so let's just do, we're going to start off with just that, just two swipes. And I'm just going to go in circular motions. So far, so good. Let's do a little more in here. Do a little bit right there. And do some on the forehead. Okay, so so far I'm noticing that the brush is emphasizing my dry skin on my forehead. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see. Can you see how it's kind of clinging to my dryness here on my forehead? So we're gonna try it with a brush, I mean a sponge, and see if that doesn't happen. I'm hoping it doesn't, but as of right now, doing it with a brush, it is kind of clinging to any dryness that I have, but let me go ahead and finish half the chin and half the nose with the brush. And this is honestly a big reason why I don't use a foundation brush. I usually use a sponge, and this is a huge reason why I feel like when I use a brush it just clings to my dryness where the sponge, it helps with any dryness that I do have. and. It helps me because even though I'm oily, I still do get dryness. So, we'll see. All right, so I did two swipes on the other side, so let's do two swipes over here. Okay, so just starting off though, I will say from using a sponge, I have to use more of it because that did not go very far with my sponge. Let's see how it does on my forehead because as of right now, I'm liking how it looks over in this region a little better than this side. So let's see how it does on my forehead. Okay. 
Yeah, that did much better with my dryness. So I'm going to try to tap over on this side to help with some of that dryness. Okay, let's finish off the nose. This side needs a little more cover to do. Okay. I'm going to use the sponge over here just a little bit just to add some hydration just because I do feel like it looks kind of dry. So I definitely prefer the sponge side. I just, I really do. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see kind of what I'm seeing. So what I see over here is this side, it clings to the dry patches a bit more with the brush as well as one thing I hate about the brush is any like little blonde hairs that you have on your face, which we all do, it lifts those up. Whereas when I pat it in with a sponge, I feel like I get a more flawless look because it doesn't do that. But this foundation definitely is clinging to dryness. If you can see that here on my nose, it is clinging to dryness. It did much better on my forehead. It did much better on my forehead on this side than it did over here but I mean overall it is a really pretty foundation but as of right now it does definitely cling to dry patches and everything so we'll see we'll see I'm not like obsessed with it yet maybe as the day goes on I will because some foundations are that way that after it's been on for a little bit I absolutely love it so we'll see um i'm just gonna go ahead and apply my tarte shape tape concealer to finish off the face real quick And then I'm just using, and this is the Morphe Highlight and Contour Sponge that I've been using today. This concealer does well on top of it, so that's a plus. Oh, and the foundation does match very well, by the way. I was a little worried about it when I opened the tube up because it looks kind of dark, and I was afraid that it would be a little dark, but it actually works really, really well. Now I'm just going to set my face as well as my under eyes. So for my under eyes, I'm using the Cover FX. This is the Translucent Light. Um, what is this powder called? Oh, this is the Perfect Setting Powder. Um, and I just got like a little size to try it first. And I do really, really love this powder. So I'm going to use this one. And I like to put it on my sponge and then kind of tap it on the back of my hand to get some of that excess product off before I go in and I set my eye area.
All right, and then for the rest of my face, I'm gonna use my Merle Norman Ultra Powder Foundation um, with what little bit I have left. As you can see, I have hit pan big time, but I'm gonna use <laughs> what I have left before I open my new one because I do have a backup. And again, I put it on my sponge and then I kind of tap it off on my hand to get off any excess before I start stamping it into the skin. And I have found that this really, really helps with being oily. That you take a powder that's not so mattifying, it's a little more of a natural looking powder or even a slightly luminous powder depending on the finish that you want that day and stamping it in with your damp beauty sponge because it just helps to prolong my makeup. I don't do this on days that I'm a little dry just because it does dry the skin out a little bit. So when I am a little dry that day, I usually will do a, um, a brush to apply my powder. But other days, most of the time, I usually do this. This is my favorite way to do it. Then I like to take just a little bit of this powder down my neck as well. All right, now I'm just going to use a setting spray on the rest of my face before I move on to the rest of my makeup. The one I'm gonna be using today is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. All right, I'm gonna finish off the rest of the face and then I will be right back to finish you guys off for this morning. All right, see you guys in just a little bit. Oh. Let me check and see what time it is. Looking at the clock right now, it is 7.45, so I don't know how long I will wear this. Um, maybe around 12 hours, 8 to 12. Um, so I will check in with you guys throughout the day and then show you the in the evening how well it's wore throughout the day as well. So let me go finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I am back after finishing off the rest of my face. I actually have to say, I think now that I have the rest of my face on and it's been on for a little bit because now it's about 8.22, so I've had it on for a, almost 30 minutes. Um, I actually prefer the brush side. I, I think I like how it's sitting in my pores a little bit better and with my oily skin, I don't think it looks as dewy and at this point, it only being on 30 minutes, um, I do appreciate that. So let me zoom you guys in so you can see what it looks like. All right, so you can see here's my forehead. It still does look dry on the brush side over here, which I'm not too pleased with, but whatever. Um, it clung to the dryness on my nose as well, but on the cheeks and everything and the chin, it actually looks really, really good. And you can see it's the shininess in here on this side that I don't like as well as this side. I think this side looks a little more perfect. So I am preferring the brush side as of right now. All right, I'm gonna head out for the day. I will try to check in with you guys throughout the day so you can see kind of how it is wearing and everything like that. And I will check back in with you guys in a little while. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back. I did want to film a middle of the day kind of check in about this foundation, but I could not get good lighting. So I just waited till the end of today. It's been on for almost 12 hours. It is 7.15 right now. So almost 12 hours, and I will say it is not an all day <laughs> foundation for oily girls at all. Um, I am gonna zoom you in so you can see now it has been on for a long time, so I've ate, my lipstick has came off, everything like that, like it's been a long day. But let me zoom you in so you can see. It looks very cakey. I hope you can see on the camera, like I can see it in person like my forehead doesn't look too bad it's definitely super super shiny and you can definitely see that but through my nose and it even rubbed off a little bit on my nose and all through the rest of my face is so cakey um i'm not saying i don't like this foundation because i do like it but um it is not an all day foundation at all at all so that is kind of 
my verdict on this foundation. I do like it. It is very, very pretty. Um, I actually preferred the brush side compared to the sponge side for today, but you definitely have to use a setting spray to bring some more moisture back into the skin so that it doesn't cling as much to the dry patches. But it is a very, very pretty foundation for but for anybody that is oily, it's a meh, like a four to five hour foundation at top. So it's going to be a very short day foundation for me. I'm not going to not wear it. And I kind of want to play around with it too and mix it in with more of a matte foundation and see if I can get it to last longer for me and not get so cakey once my oil comes through because I don't touch up throughout the day so I have not touched up anything at all since I did my makeup this morning. So yeah. Um, so I'm going to play around with it and see if I can find a way that I like it a little better and I can get more wear out of it because it is a very beautiful foundation. But yeah, that is my final thoughts on this foundation. Thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye!